हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ ए पी आई डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग गो फाइबर फ्रेमवर्क सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू वर्क ऑन अवर ब्लॉग अपडेट फंक्शनलिटी सो इन दिस फंक्शन सो इन दिस ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट सो एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू अपडेट द डेटा फॉर अ गिवन ब्लॉग आई डी सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सिमिलर लाइक विद क्रिएट ए ब्लॉग फंक्शनलिटी बट विथ लिटिल डिफरेंसेज सो लेट एस वर्क ऑन so first of all so our actually our url would be something like uh, http and uh, our application is running on local host port 8000 and uh, we will get the blog id uh, as a request parameter route, route parameter rather so something similar so actually first of all we will need to collect this so this is also going to be very much similar so first of all we will create a variable Uh, and uh, named id so we are going to collect this uh, uh, this uh, this route parameter into this variable and in order to collect it so from the context object so we will get each and every stuff so we will say c dot params and simply we need to provide the key of the uh, of this uh, route parameter so we got this id and uh, now so we will create a uh, another variable and uh, we will say it record that would be of type model dot blog and uh, actually so uh, first of all so we need to fetch the uh, actual blog data for this given id so that is why so we will initiate a database dot db con dot and uh, we are going to use the first method from the gom so we will say record and uh, we will pass on the this id so this way so uh, uh, we will get our data in the record variable for the given block id so once we get the data and uh, we can perform the operation next but first of all we also need to check if we actually got the data or not so we can check something like similar so if record dot id remember so in the blog uh, model so we have a field id and we will check if it is zero or not so if it is zero that means we didn't get a record and we will halt the operation and also we will say a message so log dot println and we will say very simply say record not found f o u record not found and also so uh, since we didn't get the data so we will uh, return immediately so we will context and we will return so there is no point uh, uh, doing anything any go i mean going any further so if we got the data and uh, now we simply need to like in create a blog so we need to parse the request body into the our struct itself so we will say if error and c dot body parser and we will parse into the variable record and we will check if error not equal to nil then we will say log dot print ln and uh, error in parsing request okay so and uh, if the request is if the request got passed successfully so now we need to save the data so in order to save the data so this is very very i mean very simple so db con and uh, this has a method called save so we will use save method and all we have to pass the variable record and again it results it returns a on an interface so we will collect it here and uh, we will check if the result dot error is not nil so then we will again log an error message here 
and uh, error in saving error in saving data and if the data is saved successfully so very simply we will return the full data so we will say context and data and it would be our record and also we will provide some message as well so context and message would be say record updated successfully okay and uh, this is going to return 200 and also if any error comes in so we will return in a state of 200 we will return 400 a bad request so that uh, our front-end guy can do his or her, his work appropriately and uh, also we can uh, yes fine so looks everything looks okay now it's time to test it so we will land in the thunder client and uh, right now so we are having three records so i am going to update this record id having three so very simply first of all we need to change the request me the method from to put and uh, we will supply number three here and we will say new title updated and uh, updated so that uh, we will have it something meaningful so let us test it 404 not found why so it says uh, 404 not found okay so let me check let us go to routes oh yes actually in the so, so since uh, in the put method so we we didn't provide any meaningful route because we are trying to provide some some id here but we need to tell uh, we, we but we need to specify so this is a syntax by the way this is a syntax to pass a route parameter so just a colon and the name of the parameter so that way so this id parameter would be available in the context and uh, this way so if we reinitiate our request so yes we are getting that our uh, id is 3 and title it was updated and post also updated and we got a message that record updated successfully so we can cross check here as well so we will initiate a get request and uh, we will say okay so this method is not allowed because uh, we are initiating a get request and our get request was configured not to accept any route parameter so yes so yes so we have updated so we have got uh, our data updated in the database and uh, this is working fine and one more thing so uh, what if we if we provide a wrong id that doesn't exist so let's say we are going to with the uh, id 33 so if we initiate a request so here we are uh, getting that uh, 400 bad request and okay so let us also change this status text as well so that uh, our uh, front end guy can use it uh, appropriately so we will say context and we will say msg as record not found so actually our api api i mean being an api developer so we should return something meaningful so that uh, our front-end guy front-end people can do uh, uh, their stuff i mean easily without any problem and this is also a uh, best practice as well so context actually i prefer to be more much more explicit status text is equal to blank empty one you can provide any i mean okay false or error wrong whatever way so this is just a uh, stuff so we'll send it again 
so we got it the message that record not found and uh, we got the status text as empty one so based on this i mean the front end guy can check so if the status text is okay then uh, the request went successful and uh, he can assume that data is going to come and uh, if it doesn't so then that means that something went wrong so he can do his stuff appropriately so for the 200 ones so this is working fine so i hope you enjoyed this session and it was also similar to i mean much more similar to create uh, a new entry in database but with little differences but uh, this is a this is a beauty of uh, i mean go so this is much more simpler super super easy so just writing a few lines of code and we can uh, create a full fledged crud uh, of crud operation okay so i'll see you in, in some other session and uh, by the way if you need to say anything or if you have anything any query or any doubt or anything to say so do let me know in the comment section and uh, i will try to reply you as soon as possible so till then take care and happy coding